So I know I do a lot of basketball reviews. Ooh. Yeah. Sometimes I got vlogs. Today is a little different. I'm gonna go through kind of my shooting routine. I got a video on my 15 minute workout, but this one is purely for shooting. So it's real simple, but it's, you know, I guess it's more detail oriented than anything. You're gonna start in front of the hoop and we're shooting form shots. Everything is pretty much form shots all the way back to the free throw. There's a few things I want you to focus on at each spot. Ooh, nice. Got a nasty stain right here. We'll talk about that another time. <laughs> so with the first spot, what you want to focus on is getting your feet right. A lot of the times when you're moving, our feet aren't totally set. So the first spot is just going to find the right balance with your feet. And what you want to look for is just a balance that won't allow you to get pushed over, whether it's to the right, to the left, forward, or back. So what you're really focusing on is trying to make five shots in a row right here. Feet are the same every time. You're gonna take a step back from that spot. The next spot, you're gonna have your feet, but now you're gonna focus on bending your knees, dropping your hips straight down to the ground, and we're gonna start to work on getting some more lift on the shot. Here, you can challenge yourself. You can either make five nothing but net, which is what I'm going for, or five in a row. That's four, not a minute. Ah. Five. Take one more step back. You should be about one step in from the free throw line. So here, now that you're a little bit further, you've got your feet for balance. We've worked on activating our legs and our hips to get the shot up. Now we really got to focus on the follow through, putting it all together. The timing is what's most important here. You want your legs to be straight as the ball is out. It's all right for the ball to be out before your legs are straight. You don't want the ball to be out after your legs. You're going to get more of a straight flat shot. So this is more this is more a spot on working on the timing because once you get back to the free throw line, you're going to have to use more legs, more arms, but you're really going to have to focus on having great balance and pushing through your legs. You want to get five total right here. Five total.
Now, once you get to the free throw line, you're gonna make three in a row. It's your goal, three in a row. What you're gonna focus on here is your entire routine. I tell a lot of my guys, don't come to the line and just start shooting. All right, I want you to try to make it as realistic as possible. Go through your dribble, shooting routine, whatever it is, your pre ritual before you shoot, so that when you get to the line in a real game situation, as you're going through that process, you're starting to relax and your body's starting to go into kind of autopilot because it recognizes the process. So, three in a row. Another great shooting drill is one you can do off the dribble. It's a little more realistic because a lot of it happens off of the wings at the three point line. A lot of it is somewhat realistic as far as areas and spots that you may be shooting the ball. So what I like to do is I like to work close in and work out. So you can run it a number of different ways. If you wanna keep it simple, run a dribble move at the three point line, hit a dribble move just for a pull up, work on different combinations, going to the right, going to the left. If you wanna make it a little more realistic, if you have someone that's working with you, you can set up a screen right here, come off the screen, and instead of a dribble move, you can just come right off of the screen, go right into the shot. I prefer if you have someone there working with you, just because in a lot of games, especially pickup, you're calling for screens, so you gotta learn how to come off the of screens and see what's available, understand the distance between the defender and yourself if you need to get a shot off. But obviously dribble moves into a shot are effective if you catch somebody on an island. So it's your choice. I'll work on a combination of both just to kind of show you how they both look. But uh, yeah. <laughs> So now we'll imagine there's a screen. Run your guy off. Ah! Hey, when that happens. Not gonna lie, training in a hoodie is a little tough. And there you go. If you really want to challenge yourself, pull up from the three point line to do this. So, imagine the screen's here. Boom. Right into a three. Or, imagine if the defender's playing you high, playing you extended, you can get him to move right into a shot. So all those different combinations work five spots, corner, wing, top, the other wing, the other corner. You should be at least a shooter off the dribble.